Not only do vendors have a part to play in preventing the spread of the coronavirus, customers have a responsibility too. Let's look at some best practices for customers. The Alabama Department of Agriculture and Industries is encouraging everyone who is healthy and feels safe to visit our farmers markets in order to gain healthy local food from area farmers, ranchers, and small businesses. They ask that if consumers choose to visit their local farmers market, to please be patient and follow new market rules set by the farmers market authority during this time. These guidelines are put in place to protect everyone and make sure we have access to safe and nutritious food. As you all know, hand washing is important because the coronavirus is usually spread from person to person, just like the common cold. Therefore, proper hand washing is a must. Here is how to properly wash your hands. Be sure to wet your hands all over with warm water. Next, apply enough soap to make a good lather, then scrub hands and fingernails for 20 seconds. Finally, rinse with water and dry with a clean paper towel. Use the paper towel to turn off the faucet and open the door before disposing of it in the trash. Hands must be washed as soon as you arrive at the market and frequently as you move throughout the space. Markets will have an increased number of hand washing stations and hand sanitizer, and all vendors are required to display hand sanitizer in each booth. It is usually socially acceptable to greet others with a hug or handshake, but we know the coronavirus can be spread through skin-to-skin -skin touching. For this reason, we should wave or smile instead. As covered earlier, social distancing involves maintaining at least an arm's length distance between other shoppers and vendors. At arm's length, the virus has minimal ability to spread in the air. Distancing is especially important while waiting in line. It is also important to remember not to congregate between booths or in walkways. No hand-to-hand -hand contact will be allowed between vendors and shoppers. If you want a product, point to it and allow the vendor to bag it and set it down on the table before you pick it up. In the same manner, do not hand vendors payments directly. Place cash and credit cards on the table for vendors to pick up. A good option is to use Apple Pay or Venmo when available. If you are able, we encourage you to set up Apple Pay or Venmo on your smartphone before you arrive and use this as a payment method. If you do use this method of payment, please sanitize your phone before you arrive and after you leave the market. High risk populations are those who have a greater chance of contracting an illness due to a weakened immune system. Any shopper who is at a higher risk, including individuals who are over 65 and or with underlying health conditions, should stay home. If you feel unwell in any way, you should stay home. If you are in the high risk category, consider having someone else go to the market for you. Remember, these regulations are for your safety and the safety of others. So do your part to stop the spread of COVID-19 while visiting the farmer's market. If you need more information, visit our Alabama Cooperative Extension Systems Food Safety website or visit us on Facebook.